I got zeroed in Call of Dragons! And I've actually never been zeroed in any mobile game ever up until this moment. But can you even get zeroed in Call of Dragons? And is it even fair to call it that? In this video, I'm going to show you everything there is to learn from my city defense, which tragically, thanks to an update that happened very recently, Lilith had reset all talent points. So I had an intentional city defense with zero talent points. Thanks for resetting my talents. Wish I had noticed before the kingdom got randomly thrown into a civil war. So stick around in this video for all the fun stuff you'll want to see about city defense and Call of Dragons. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and I got zeroed in Call of Dragons. But can you get zeroed? This game is very different from Rise of Kingdoms, where in Rise of Kingdoms, you've got a hospital capacity, and when you're defending your city, your hospital fills up, zero troops die. But once your hospital is full, every troop dies. But in this game, there is infinite capacity for troops. You heard me correctly. In this game, 10% of Sev wounds are dead troops, 90% hit your hospital, and your hospital heals for free over time. Zero resources spent, zero speed up spent, it's just healing over time. You can resource heal, and that takes a, a non-trivial amount of resources and speed ups to do. Uh, does it take speed ups? I don't even know if it takes speed ups. Actually, it might even just be resources, no speed ups. Uh, but e either way, I could reclaim my troops here, but I don't want to spend these kinds of resources to heal. It's way too expensive to heal. Way too expensive to heal. So I want my free healing over time and I'll get my troops back and that's how that's going to happen. And after I had got zeroed and hit with a double fate changer when I logged in, um, you know, look, I had like four days of passive healing that was going to take place to get all my troops back. Is what it is. Okay. But why is it that I had no talents on my city defense. Man, what a tragedy, okay? I set a very intentional city defense, and let me show you here, okay? I picked the epic commander for city defense. This, this is his job. This is the thing he does. I have him expertise, and I have a legendary sitting behind it, and I'll show you the skills on this thing, that is really good for defending your city because it has really high damage and also high counterattack in case I was going to get swarmed. I think it's counterattack. We will go look at this more in a minute. So I set a very intentional city defense. In fact, in this game, by the way, you can set multiple city defenses. So like if you have commanders out of your city, it will default to a uh, lower tier defense that you've set. It'll do your next priority, your next priority, your next priority for like what should defend your city. So I have a very intentional city defense here, but I have been playing so casually that I hadn't noticed that a couple days ago, all talents were reset. What a tragedy. Now, this game, unlike Rise of Kingdoms, is very demanding of your time when a new season happens. Uh, and the reason is that they reset the level of all your commanders, okay? And they reset uh, what's called your seasonal technology. Now, I'll show you seasonal technology in a minute. Mine is really bad because I have not actually been playing actively. Um, and in fact, let me show you seasonal technology now. You can speed this up, but only with gems. And the thing is that if you're playing the game actively, you don't actually need to speed this up. But when you're not playing the game actively, like me, I'm logging in like once a day, okay? And I do with like five minutes. I'm not even spending my action points. I mean, at the start of the season, I was really committed. But then it just became so much grind that I was like, man, I'm not even really playing this. Like, I, I, you know, look, when, when full release comes out, I'm going to go ham. But I'm just here to learn a few things and go along. I'm not trying to, like, commit a huge amount of time to something I'm not, you know, actively, like, gunning through, right? So all that to say, my tech is really bad for defending my city. Really bad as in I'm missing more than 10% all damage for city defense from these talents or I guess this research over here that I definitely could have had nearly maxed if I was just actively playing. And like, that's on me, right? The other thing that is suboptimal is that I've been so casual, like my commanders aren't level 60. They should be. Um, but this is a game you have to actively constantly play, which people have been saying, is everybody just going to like switch to Call of Dragons? And I don't think that's necessarily the case because you have to be active as hell in this game. Um, because otherwise you find yourself zeroed and you have commanders that aren't even leveled up and, and ready to fight. And what I discovered tragically is that I had all my talents reset. 
I couldn't believe it. A patch had gone in days before. Now, here's the talents I would have chosen on this city defense commander. Um, and it sure would have been great to have had all these talents to defend my city, doing really big things like reducing the damage that I take and dealing more damage and big talents over here that um, have big effects. All of this was missing. So I was missing a ton of stats and boosts for my city defense, which is really freaking tragic. And don't worry, I am going to show you the reports. And this is an epic hero designed, in my estimation, designed for city defense, okay? And, you know, the reason I say that is he's got a city defense skill and there isn't another commander that I see that would be really good for that. There is a legendary in this game who's got garrison talents, uh, at least at the time of this recording, right? And he's right over here, but he heals. And healing is just like a way to get more dead troops, okay? Because the reality is that even if I had had talents on my city defense here, guess what? I was still getting zeroed, okay? They had more than enough time to zero me because nobody messaged me on Discord about the fact that I was getting zeroed. Like literally, no, I, nope, I, I had no way to know. I got zeroed. Nobody messaged me. Civil war broke out overnight. Like, what are you going to do? I wasn't awake. I didn't log into the game. That's on me. But I'm just saying, like, either way I was getting zeroed, I would have done more or less damage to them. I don't like healing for a city defense, okay? So, and he might be, a, a you know, a strong-ish commander, but I prefer damage. And Bakar is the, your sort of damage route here. And the second commander I used was Nika. Um, and that's because she's got a high damage factor, really nice health reduction to the enemy. And if I look at her other skills here, I get a little bit of infantry stat boost, okay? And also, skill damage dealt boost and a counterattack damage bonus. And I want this counterattack damage bonus for anti-swarm in case my city's getting swarmed. So that's why I had her on the wall. Those are the choices that I made. Now, you could look more at the commanders here and, and talk way more in depth about the other options that I had. But instead, for now, there is one other thing I want to show you. Um, and that is the uh, artifact over here. I, I, yes, the artifact that I had equipped. Now, I have chosen an artifact that gives me a legion attack boost. This is basically like attack for all troop types and also some infantry attack. So that's why I've been investing in this one specifically for city defense because I was like, okay, man, I want to have as many stat boosts as I can um, if I'm defending my city, which turned out to be a thing that was definitely relevant and was a good choice in terms of like other options that I would have had just to show you. Right, like this has 2% legion attack. Um, some of these things like just infantry defense. I mean, they're not all that impressive, but they're also not all that leveled up because I've been playing way, way, way too casually, as I was saying before. Oh, by the way, the levels of your artifacts also reset every time you enter into a new season. So you like you really need to be active in this game. I wasn't. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. When Call of Dragons goes live, we're gonna have a huge group that enters into the game. We've already got the officer core picked out and we'll probably uh, you know, recruit a few more officers down the road. Uh, and then soon enough, we'll be recruiting players. So also consider joining my Discord server linked in the description. And I am going to probably wail uh, like crazy in this game, spending maybe like $5,000 in the first month, which is a little nuts. So consider subscribing so you don't miss all that happening. And so when my city got hit, here is the reports that I had that I saved. And I was actually kind of surprised that with no talons and they're setting rallies on me that I did okay. Like actually shocking to me. And that's because all I look at is the dead troop number, not the number of sev wounds. Because remember, my sev wounds come back for free over time. So do theirs. Um, so I'm not looking at seven wounds. I'm just looking at dead troops. Here they set a rally. They had the same number of troops as me. Um, and they had 40,000 troops die. I had 18,000 troops die. Let's freaking go. Now, they did take some of my resources, but this is a trivial amount of resources. Everything else was protected by my storehouse. So I'm in a pretty good spot there. Do, do I wish they had gotten zero resources? Yes, because resources are a huge problem for this account. Because I'm so casual, I have a ton of speed ups. I mean, a jaw dropping amount of speed ups uh, because it's, you know, I just haven't ever used speed ups because um, <laughs> I don't have resources because I don't log in enough to gather and actually be able to do things. So, um, yeah, first trade, really good. Lilia Walder, dude, they they did successfully execute the mono troop type. Good. 
I mean, that's how that's supposed to be. So they ran a mono troop type rally on me. Presumably, uh, yes, both of those commanders are expertise. So I did okay here. I'm feeling like pretty decent about this defense. Also, I mean, I'm having T3s die because I have a lot of T3s in here because I play too casually. So not bad in terms of the first round. The second round, um, this dude ghost rallies me and that's like, a big whale in this particular server. Uh, and now I have 35,000 die and they have 9,000 die. They also have more than double the number of troops they have. They have three times as many troops as me, almost. So this rally definitely wrecks. And I mean, that's what you would expect in this situation, right? Um, and uh, let's see here. If, oh, I can look at the Legion buffs. So you can see, like, I have way, way, way less stats than this probably max tech player. But think about this for a second. Even though this is a max tech player, okay, and I am missing talent points, and I'm missing 10% of seasonal technology all damage, in fact, more than that, because uh, I had some other stuff that's not leveled up, like, I did, like, city defense is really good in this game. So, weirdly, well, I'll talk, I'll talk more about how the, the game doesn't really give you a lot of peace shields. Um, up next, somebody, I think, swore my city very briefly. I don't know what's going on here. And then over here, I get hit one last time and I go even. Um, and it's a Gwanwin Nico rally. So this should be a all ranged attack, physical attack rally. I have 15k dead. They have 15k dead. I mean, it's about even. Um, not bad. So at this point, my city is basically zeroed. Everything's in the hospital, pretty much. And uh, there were no other reports from them hitting my city. So I think they gave up. They're like, why are we even doing this? There's not much to take here. Um, and they aren't getting any resources. But, uh, you know, everybody wants to rally a content creator, I suppose. Um, and nobody wants to tell a content creator they're getting rallied, which I found really surprising. Um, but, it, you know, it it is what it is. Uh, and overall, I would say zeroing this city was the best possible gift that they could have given me. Because, I mean, I wasn't making any content. And here is a very juicy piece of content I put on my main channel about my city getting rallied. So what can we learn from this city defense? I think a couple things. First of all, holy cow, uh, put on your talent points and don't play so damn casually because in this game, they rarely give you peace shields and a civil war could break out, territories lost from underneath you and you're zeroed. Could happen anytime. So unlike in Rise of Kingdoms where if I wanted for the next, you know, almost full year, I could go to sleep with a peace shield on for every one of my accounts. I have one peace shield, and I think I've only ever gotten five in the entire time that I've pl been playing. So it's not like you can just casually use peace shields if you think it's a dicey situation or that, it, you know, you might maybe get into a civil war. You can't do that. Um, the other thing we can take away is that city defense is so advantaged. So in some ways, even though the game doesn't give you peace shield and it's like, mm, you know, get in trouble, get zeroed, um, getting zeroed in this game is really not so bad. Yeah, I have a time penalty before I have all my troops back, which means I'm kind of ineffective in field fighting for a while. Or I could use resources to get some of those troops back. Um, but the limiting factor in this game is definitely getting your troops back because it's freaking slow. And you can see my resource-based healing is not letting me get many troops back. Now, this, this can change, okay? If I go over here to my hospital and I go to upgrade my shaman hut, you can see my daily free healing goes up and my daily resource healing goes up. So this could be a much higher number than it is now, but I think overall it's still like pretty low. I mean, the reason to have lots of troops in this game is that ultimately like they'll go to your hospital. You can only heal so much at a time. So if you want to keep fighting, you just need fresh troops to be able to do that with. So that's the like reason to be powered up a whole heck of a lot, I think, in this game. And you can see, by the way, my wall it needs repairs, and it's actually telling me, like, bro, you need to repair your wall. Your durability is damaged here, so I can do that. So overall, like, kind of cool that I got zeroed one time anyways to be able to make this video for you. Um, but I think the thing I would advise you if you're playing this game and you do get zeroed is to, number one, get to a safe situation. I would not say that I'm safe. I still have no clue what the political climate is here. It seems like there's still a lot of fighting, okay? It seems like the alliance I'm in is looking to defend this fort, um, which like, oh, I'd participate, but I actually don't have troops and I don't have resources. So like, I just have to chill for a while. 
Um, and if I look at where people are actually located, I mean, I don't know, maybe we're going all the way back here to do some things. Seems like that's the case. So I'm going to have to figure out where the heck I'm going to go. Uh, but this is not a game that I think you can play casually. Every season, the levels of a bunch of your things are reset. And you really need to put in the work to go level all that stuff up again. Because if you don't, and you play casually, you could get wrecked like I did. But did I get wrecked? I went even overall on the trade. I'm okay with that. Now, if you're looking for more information about Call of Dragons, you'd like an overview of the game, or you want to watch a live stream where I created this very account, I'll have those two cards in the end screen for you, and consider subscribing for more Call of Dragons videos.